guys what's going on it's your boy kev 10 percent fishing back out here late somerville man i'm gonna go out here you know i'm gonna do what i do you already know what i do we got the dogs out here cap this is cap joe potato potato what's up buddy hey my boys like to fish so y'all stay tuned we're gonna put y'all on some hey uh at the boat ramp somebody gave me some intel told me that the hybrids were at the hump and he pointed right over here and I looked it up on my uh, my GPS over here, so we're gonna take a take a look at it, see if they're still over there. He said it was catching them and some white bass, so you already know how we do. Let's go. Got a couple marks. I'll show you guys. Got a couple marks coming in. So we got some high, we got some low. So I'm just gonna get set up right here on this spot. That trolling motor is about to turn me around, and then uh, we'll get to fishing. Here we go. Going in with some shrimp. First, just double hooking the shrimp. Oh, it's already some fish starting to show up on the fish finder. You see that? It's already some starting to come. So let's drop this down. Let's see what we can do. Dang, I had a bite. Yeah. Got one. There he is. Finally got one. On the vibe, baby. On the vibe, baby, getting it. Oh, that's a big old white bass. Look at that thing. Oh! Big old white bass, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. First fish, move. Send it to your dad. Got him. Got him. Let's go. Oh, what we got here? It's running. Another whitey. Got another whitey. I oh, gotta be careful. All these hooks. Oh, fur checks vibe, man. Okay. It's a vibe. Oh, that's a hybrid. That's a little hybrid right there. That's a little hybrid. It's gotta be 18 to keep. Gotta, he gotta go back. The vibe getting it done. 18. Move, go back. Go back, go back. Again, as you guys can see, these contours right here, 
where it comes up a little little shelf right here that's where i'm gonna pull up on um i'm seeing a lot of bait fish through here so hopefully those hybrids and white bass are using that that shelf right there to pin those shad let's see if we can get up on it we got deeper water i see some fish out here floating see some fish and bait so we're gonna get right up here on this spot the wind's blowing right in our face so should be blowing some bait some plankton and all that stuff this way which is going to attract those bigger fish i want to get right up here on this point here Bright color line. I got this blue line. I can see it pretty good. When I see it go slack, I just rip them up off the bottom. You got to find that cadence, man. You got to find the cadence that they, re they react to, what they're responding to. Over here. Getting a bite over here. Someone's biting over here. Eat it. Getting bit up over here. Got him. Got one. Got one over here. What we got? Hey, there we go. See? And oh man, he's bleeding out everywhere. Oh no, no, my no, I just cleaned my boat. I just cleaned my boat. God dang it. He's bleeding out. He, he came for the shrimp and get him back in that water. I got to hurry up and try to get him unhooked. Nice little white bass. Oh my gosh. My little white bass. Um, where's my... Sorry, buddy. Dang. If I, if I were keeping fish, this would be a nice one to keep. It would be a prime candidate. Hurry up and got him off. Try to hurry up and get him back in the water. Small little white bass. One might come and hit it. And Uh-oh, getting a bite over here. Got one over here. Another white bass. Open your mouth. Come on, open it up, boy. Trying to help you. Took retrievers right here, man. Gotta have them. He swallowed it good. Hook the stomach, you can come in through the gills here and turn that hook upside down and it'll pop right on out and you won't tear their stomach up all the way.
just got in that deeper water out here. Just got in that deeper water. Oh my god, as soon as I pull up, all these fish come through. Ow. Yes, sir. Got him that time. There we go. Okay. See, I changed up my cadence on it and I got bit. I changed up the cadence. Oh my gosh. What is this? Man, I got I got two trouble hooks here. And this dang fish got fins everywhere there. Freaking sharp. Fins, gill plates, you gotta be careful when you're handling these fish, man. So, I think I got the cadence down now. What is that? Uh, that's a white bass. Small fish right here. Send him back. Send him back. I just pulled back up here on my wife and my dog, chill out. And uh, gotta stay hydrated. What that boy uh, what Riley Green said? In a cooler full of Coors Light. Who are you? I don't know. Throw it out there, so. I decided to reel it in. I got a fish on. Little captain. Let it soak. Oh, he swallowed it. Just letting this big old pole soak in the water. It's my surf right here. I just casted it out as far as I can because I know I can do a little bit of bank fishing. Swallowed it, but I'm gonna show you guys how to get it. Channel catfish. Need your hook retrievers. Let's see. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you gotta just see it's, it's buried deep in there. So we don't want to damage this fish up. Let me open this dang mouth. Let me see where it is. So see when this happens I like to get my my bow grips fish grips that way I can work with him uh see if I can he's kind of too small to go through his gills so usually you can go through the gills and get it but I just gotta try to stick it down there and try to rotate that hook to get it to come out he don't want to open his mouth now he said opening my mouth got me in this situation. Mm, that thing is very deep. He dang near pooping this out. Come on, buddy. Tatum, look. We got a fish. Do is get down there and rotate that hook. Oh shoot! Oh, I'm trying to hook my dog. Let's see. Let's we'll drop him in.
and catfish. Oh, blue catfish. Nothing. Blue catfish. Go and bite.